In this video, we're going to learn how to draw a scatter diagram for correlation purposes. Um, let's start with the data that we have here. Uh, we have company numbers, uh, 13 companies, uh, and from each of them we've collected the number of employees and the revenue made during a particular year in millions of pounds. Because revenue tend to depend on the number of employees, we want to seek uh, uh, what correlation is there between revenue and the number of employees. Clearly here, the number of employees are the independent variables, whereas the revenue um, is the dependent variable. So revenue depends on the number of employees. So to draw a scatter diagram, what we have to do is to click somewhere very far from the data on the worksheet and then we go to insert scatter diagram and we choose the one without any lines okay once we get this empty rectangle as usual with all graphs drawn in Win uh, Excel 2007 we right click in the empty rectangle and select data. In here we click on add to introduce a series. We could give a series name in here but in this case we will forego this. We introduce the series x values and this is where the independent variables needs to go. So in here I'm going to select the number of employees so that will be all the values between the cells B2 to B14. In the series Y values, we delete the content of that box and then we highlight the values of the dependent variable, in this case the revenue. And that will be values in the cell C2 all the way to C14. So we've already now selected the what goes into our horizontal axis, which is the independent variables, and in our vertical axis, the dependent variable. We click, click OK, and then we click OK again, and we've got this scatter diagram. Because we don't need this legend here, we click on it and then by clicking on the delete button on the keyboard that will get rid of it. Next we need to introduce some labels for the different axes. We know how to do that now. We go to layout, click on axis titles. Well, let's start with the horizontal axis where the number of employees are displayed and choose the below axis and we say number of employees. There we go. If you don't know how to um, introduce this little zero on the number, all you have to do is write the N and then click on Alt and on the numeric keyboard press 0176 and then withhold everything both hands. Okay, now we're going to introduce the label for the vertical axis. I'm going to choose a rotated title. And here we have a revenue and we have to write between brackets in millions of pounds. Press return or enter and we've got the scatter diagram. We can embellish this uh, scatter diagram by uh, maybe making the X axis or the horizontal axis and the vertical axis slightly thinner. So let's start with the horizontal axis. Click on it and right click on it and then go to Format Axis. In here we'll have to start with the line style. Under the width let's make it slightly thicker by increasing this number to say for example 2 
and then go to the line color and go from the gray to something black maybe we can choose any other color for the for the and you can see now that the horizontal axis is now thickened with black color click o on close and that will do it we can do the same thing very quickly with the vertical axis so right click on the numbers on the vertical axis go to format axis go to the line style increase to two point go to the line color and make them black again we can do something about these markers we call them the markers which are the plots in our scatter diagram we right click on them go to the format data series and then if you go to the marker options you can see here that we've got a lozenge ones we can click on built-in ones and then on the arrow we can choose any of these I particular like the circular ones these ones here so I choose that one I can reduce the size font because they're too big I can reduce that to something smaller click on close and I've got something of a, the scatter diagram so this will end our video on drawing scatter diagrams